All right, back here on Hoosier Friday Night Overtime. Now it's time for a new segment on Hoosier Friday Night Overtime. We're joined by the high school insiders, uh, Steve Strimming and Jeff Robinson from Excel Sports. Thanks, guys, for being on the show. These, these two guys know everything about high school sports. Get calls all the time now, 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 uh, from now. Steve on everything. All right, so the big news tonight, we saw that Warren Central um, big, picks up a big win against the Giants. How do they get it done? Is this the team to beat in 5A, Steve? I've always thought it was a team to beat in 5A. I said that at the beginning of the season. We sat there and we looked at uh, Warren Central. We looked at Center Grove. We looked at Carmel. I don't think that's ever changed. Jeff was at the game tonight. Jeff, why don't you, why, why don't you tell us what you saw out that's of right, Warren Central? That's right. You called for Ben Davis. That's right, yeah. Yeah, that, I was really impressed tonight with Warren Central. I, this was the first time Ben Davis had been shut out in 25 years. That's how significant this game really was. And Warren's defensive line gave away nothing. So back to the original question. I mean, Jeff, are they the team to beat in 5A? Based on what I saw, absolutely. Hands down. No Hands problem. down. Hands down. What, what, did you, what did you like about their game? In particular, defensive line there. They, their line completely controlled. I mean, Chris Harley, Sheldon Day, uh, Jonathan Burt, they were right there all over the place against Ben Davis's offense. Okay, let's talk about the Cathedral. We just had Rich, Rick Strife here. You guys just saw him. They just left the set here. And when they were 0-3, I was like, no big, no big deal. He knows how to coach. He's won many championships. They play against the best teams in the country. Uh, are they the team to beat in 3A? Excuse in me, 4A. 4, 4A. Excuse me, 4A. Yeah, yeah. 4A. In 4A, uh, by how they started the season, it, it was huge. Uh, Cleveland. Uh, you play in Cleveland, you play in East St. Louis, has got more speed than anybody that I've seen. I've seen him on tape also besides what Rick had seen. And also Fort Wayne Dwanger. So, yeah, Cathedral's probably right there. It's one of those three teams that probably won the state. And Cathedral's is tough. Remember tonight, Bishop Chattar, this is the first time they've lost two games since 2001. All right, well, let's take a look at what we are looking forward to uh, next weekend. And we've got some big-time games coming up. They're already talking to me around the Fishers game for that Avon matchup against Brownsburg. That should be good. Chittard against uh, the team from Cincinnati. You see the Elder, uh, Monrovia, Speedway, and Plainfield against Martinsville. Uh, Jeff, wh who should we keep our eye on in that game, in the, uh, out of those games? I really like the Plainfield-Martinsville game. I saw Plainfield at the beginning of the season. They've obviously gotten better very quickly and I love what Martinsville is doing this is one of their best years in a long time already a 4-0 start and a huge win tonight over Decatur Central and I was at that game Hayden Northern played well they had a running back a six foot one junior that rushed for 174 yards M Martinsville looked pretty tough that's Fred Cutruff's team from who used to coach Lafayette Jeff pretty solid team there the other thing that I liked about the Avon Avon's going to be looking for that touchdown that they lost up at, uh, up at Fishers tonight near the end of the that's game right. that's the end of the game there was a touchdown that they can't quite find yet they're probably still looking for it on the way back. <laughs> That's right. That's it seems like every year whenever <laughs> either Avon or Brownsburg is good, the other team seems to surprise yeah, them. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's take a look at the trap games coming up mm -hmm. next week. And there are some ones that you got to be careful. Uh, what sticks out to you, Jeff? Looking at the screen here. Uh, ben Davis and Terre Haute North is probably one of the trap games out there that I'm looking at the most here. Terre Haute North has a confidence against Ben Davis that they because they've beaten Ben Davis before. That's something that Terre Haute South hasn't done against the Mick Power. Okay. Westfield, Zionsville. And remember, Westfield got beat tonight, but Zionsville's got a huge game with Southeastern tomorrow night. That's right. Which is on my Indy TV, Channel 23. He's doing his job. That's right. And, right here. And, with, and also Speedway and Reader. But I'm going to look at Zionsville, how they play tomorrow. Southeastern's got their hands, you know, without their coach. Okay. okay. So that should be a heck of a football game. All right, Steve, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Yep, thank Thanks, you. Casey. They're here every week, every Friday, right here on my Indy TV. Challenge 23. All right, real quick. Time now for the score of the night. And, fellas, take a look at this. Can you believe this? This one was a track. The Heritage Christian takes down the Bowman oh, Academy oh 77 to 46. That's unbelievable. That's, yeah, that's a ton of points, right? And Heritage Christian tonight. Is under uh, their coach. <laughs> they, they know how to put up points. But, All right. but I know yeah. Bowman's got athletes sick of their basketball program. All right. We got a tip break. So the cup. We'll wrap up Hoosier Friday night overtime with a look back at an amazing performance from the early season. Oh, Yes. Yeah.